GQTV. Just Saint Thomas, jerk chicken center of the world. Leaders of the world, living in luxury, and all they get to use, living in luxury. And all the little girls they are living fine. So what is life? Ah, 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 ah. You better make sure that you do the right. Stop think once, stop think twice. Stop all the work, fussing and fighting. When the time is right, it's gonna be alright. Let us all no, deny. Just give me two time. Let us all deny. Good man. So what is life? Life is a reality. We see poor people living in poverty. Leaders of the world living in luxury. Now they get to. So I'm here in uh, Yellas, St. Thomas, Yellas Bay, very famous stop for jerk. A lot of people coming home from work, they stop in Yellas to get their soups, jerk pork, jerk chicken. Trust me, Yellas been doing it for a long time. People from all over the world come through here. And now, right now I'm standing with my man, Sniper. Sniper. Oh, my dad. Yeah, man. Well, say, but how, how long you been uh, jerking chicken over here in St. Thomas? Huh? Well, jerking chicken in St. Thomas starts in 1969. The whole thing started in 1969? Started, wow. started from a guy named Keith Garrison. Um, it was like one jerk pan, then became two. Today you see. Well, you, Several today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I've been doing this for three years. This is my friend Flushy. He's been doing it for a number of years, more than me. He's a more experienced person. Oh, okay. But, um, you know, he, he trained me. I know the ropes. He knows the rope better than me, but here we go. Right. Anyway, sure. Okay. What are, what, 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 are the what are some of the things you got on the, um, on, on the pan? Yeah. All right. This is jerk chicken. This is festival. Now, everybody wondering why jerk chicken tastes so nice. Okay. Can't tell you. Definitely, can't give, can't, up, can't give up this, the no, recipe. No, we can't give it the recipe, but it's just a Jamaican thing, you know? It's Jamaica, it's a brand. It's a brand, it's a brand. Jerk chicken is a brand, festival is a brand. Jerk pork is a brand. Beef patty, look on beef patty, it's a brand also. But Jamaica is Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? You know the three things Jamaica, the whole world know Jamaica for. One of them I can't tell you, the next one is Bob Marley, and the next one is jerk chicken. Jerk. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Sniper. If you pulled up at a jerk center, other than this here that you oh, were, yeah. and you, you wanted to get a piece of jerk meat, yeah. there was one guy jerking with a grill pan, yeah. and one guy jerking it in the oven. Which one would you buy? Grill pan. Why is that? Because the taste, the texture. All right. Oven cannot, oven cannot reproduce what a grill can do. Really? Really, two different kind of cooking. One cooked from the outside in, one cooked from the inside out. You understand? Okay. The flavor the, the, between the cold and the chicken and the seasoning, the flavor, you cannot get it no other way. You can't parboil chicken and put it on in the oven. Tell me I said jerk chicken. That's not jerk chicken, that's baked chicken. Jerk chicken has to go on the grill, outside. So you say to get a piece of jerk chicken, it has to be seasoned to perfection and put on some form of grill. Seasoned to the bone is very important. Seasoned to the bone. But I can't give you the secret. You want it? You want it? You gotta pay for it. 
buy a piece of jerk chicken. How often do you say you're out here on a daily, on a weekly basis? I'm here um, five days a week, 18 hours a day, doing the same thing over and over again, pleasing people from all over the world. You love what you do? Pays the bills. I meet a lot of people. No better place like home. So there you go. Man say he's out here doing it every day. It's all about jerk, man. Ain't nothing like a piece of jerk meat. And see, you could for yourself. Look at all the, look at the, 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 the color on that, 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 that meat, man. Can't get it in no oven. Oh man. Can't get it in no oven. Definitely man. can't get that in the oven. Festival. What you got over here? What's the, 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 the festival? This is no. This is a Jamaican thing they call festival. In America, we would call it crust, but in Jamaica, it's festival. What's that made up? You want the secret? <laughs> All right, this is no, one no, time. No, 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 This is one time. This is one time. <laughs> Cornmeal, flour, sugar, and some other stuff. Can't tell you that part neither. That's the secret yeah. there. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, Snap, I want to thank you for your time, man. I appreciate yeah, man. it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Jamaica 24 7. Big up GQ TV. What's your name? My name is Gary. Gary, how long you been uh, out here in St. Thomas? Uh, Yellow Spear, Jerky Chicken. 10 years. 10 years? How did you get started in the whole jerk chicken? Well, a friend drove me inside and teach me how to do So I started from there. Oh, okay. Uh, what is it about jerk, man? People just love the, 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 the meat. I mean, it's such a big thing now. What would you say is about jerk that is just attracting people to the well, cooking? Well, it's the taste of it. The taste? Because, yeah, I would do it. I would see this stuff. I would do it. I would jerk it. Is it all about the season or just the way it's being cooked? Yeah, it's all about the season and the way it's being cooked. Okay, so it's both. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. If you stop at a jerk center other than yeah, let's be here. And you wanted to get a piece of jerk meat. There was one guy jerking on the grill, and one guy putting it in the oven. Which one would you buy? What? The one on the grill. Everybody say that. Why is that? Why would you do that? Yeah, because the fat, all the, all the fat have burned up. Burned up. You understand? So, the poor reliable in this. Okay, so you said the grill helped get rid of some of the most of the fat too, as and well fat. as taste and all that. Okay, man, I see, you. I see what you're saying. What do you got going on on the grill over here? Oh, some nice food. That's all you do with jerk chicken? You don't do no pork or like that? No. We separate the pork because then a lot of people don't eat pork. Oh, a lot of people don't eat pork so you don't bother with the pork? I don't mix it. Oh, okay. Not myself, I don't eat pork. You don't eat pork? Do, uh, why, do, why don't you eat pork? Well, is that a preference? Yeah. Well, because it's sick. Oh, you get sick with it? Okay. I thank you very much for your time. Man. I appreciate it. Have a good day. GQ TV. Big up. Uh, what's your name, sir? My name is Brennan. Brennan, how long you been out here uh, jerking chicken in um, Yales Bay, St. Thomas? About five years now. About five years? Yeah. How did you get started in the whole jerk chicken fiesta? Um, about that man right here, he said he brought me up at home, so I get started by that. Yeah. Your boss? Yeah. He got you into it? Yeah. So uh, he pretty much taught you everything you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me ask you a question. If you stop at a jerk center, other than here in St. Thomas, in Yalas, and you wanted to get a piece of jerk meat, there was one guy jerking with a grill pan, and one guy putting it in the oven. Which one would you buy? I'll buy the one at the grill. Why is that? Everybody say that, but I just want to know why is that? What about the grill that everybody likes so much? Um, that one, well, the socks are burned out of the one at the grill. Everything and The germs, burned. everything burned. Oh, okay. I get your point on that. So definitely, the so you said to get a piece of authentic jerk, it's definitely seasoned to perfection and to put on some form of grill, whether it's pimento or wood or the grill pan. You would say that, would you? Yeah, yeah. I'll buy it on the grill. Got you, man. What you got going on here, Anna? Chicken. Just jerk chicken, you don't do no pork or nothing like that? No, it's jerk chicken. How, how often you, you, you say you're out here on a weekly basis? Seven days a week. Seven days a week, no time off? Wow. Definitely doing your thing, man. And 
really feel like seem like it's a lucrative business for a lot of you guys. I really appreciate your time talking to me and have a pleasant day. Thank you very much. You got G GQ TV. Standing here with uh, Wati here in St. Thomas from uh, Wati Jerk Center. Now, Wati, how, how long have you been uh, jerking chicken here out in St. Thomas? Around 25 years. 25 years? How did you get started in the business? Well, it's, I know from uh, somebody started doing it here. So after them left, we us take from that to that. Okay, so you pretty much learned from somebody and then you just got into it? Yeah, we got right, my plate board just went out to somebody. But the guy, my green. Okay. So, so after that, I just take that stuff. You just take it in? Okay. Jerk chicken has gotten so popular, man. It's, it's taking over the island. Everywhere you go, somebody have a jerk pun. So what do you think has gotten so popular over the last years? I want to say most people like the jerk out of me, the natural thing. The flavor? Yeah. It's not my name. It's a natural thing. Straight from the grill. Yeah, they get the jerk, the festival. Okay. So that's a routine that Also, too, I think it's easy for a lot of people just coming through here, coming from work. They could yeah. just grab a piece yeah, of meat right, and, and right. go out that way too. Now, do you do any um, chicken or pork? Or no, like just just chicken jerk chicken. So just straight chicken. Here in Ellis is mostly chicken. Yeah, jerk, jerk chicken too. Yeah, yeah, pork, but on the other side. Okay. How about soups and stuff like that? Yeah, you got fish soup. You have chicken soup. Oh, okay. You um, if you stopped at a jerk center, other than your jerk center, and you wanted to get a piece of jerk meat, there was one guy doing it on a grill, one guy doing it in the oven. Which one would you buy? You take from the, the, the jerk pan. You get. You get when they jerk it, they get, you know, this, the fat and all the, all the things just burn out, you know? They open, they like that. Okay, I see what you're saying. So you said the grill burn off a lot of the fat. Yeah. Okay, because I always thought people just put it in the grill just for it to look nice. So in yeah. the grill definitely have some form yeah. of significance to the meat. Yeah, and with the, with the coal, you get a, a, a good blend, you know? The fat charcoal. But they add to the flavor too? Yeah. yeah. I got you. I think I totally understand now for a minute. For when coming into this documentary, I always said to myself, why does people use the grill so much? What is it about the grill? No, and now I think I got a true understanding after talking to so many different people of how the, 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 the grill works as compared to the oven. I want to I thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. GQ TV. Big up. Eternity, oh, okay. don't know the world play chicken and pork and yeah, about to the world, see me? Chop the world, see me? Vibrant, quality money, don't know the whole thing, Peter, the fish and everything, you see me? Don't know, I love the yalas, you know what I'm just gonna come a yalas, square, sell off, spice, a week of spice, yeah, big up white in the world, bro, you see me? Eternity, take your TV, big up yourself, I a love. You want pepper on it? No pepper? I do, I don't know. Oh, yeah. 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 How long have you been uh, jerking pork? Come here in Yalas Bay. This jerk pork is, is here from way back in the, in the, in the 70s. In the 70s? Yes, when my stepfather started this place. That's, that his name is Festa Lane. Festa Lane, the original jerk pork man. Okay. And, yes, and he passed out. So my brother takes up the trip. Okay. Yes. And um, when he 
Well, I'm not assisting him for the past 15 years. No, I'm here with him. Wow, for the past 15 years. Yeah. Let me ask you, uh, you just specialize in pork? I see a lot of people, guys over here, they specialize in chicken. So you yeah, just specialize yeah, in the pork? Just deal specially with pork, yes. The jerk chicken and the pork, is it, that, would you say that's done the same way? Uh, seasoning to perfection and well, grilled? Um, I would say, um, we, when it comes to pork, we have to have more seasoning. More seasoning on the pork, why is that? Because um, normally, you know, pork, when, when you deal with the pork, it tends to um, give some people diarrhea and so, you have okay. to fix it properly. Oh. Yes, then when they go, they'll have to call us back and tell us all about it, because it's good, and it, they, they, they don't have a stomach reaction. Oh, and the bowel movement is from it. Okay. How long do you season up before you actually take it to the fire? Okay, we season the day before. So the day before? Yes. The day before, like yesterday, and we put it, when the evening comes, we put it in the freezer to keep it cool. Okay, and get it to the grill. How long about the period? How long it stays on the grill before you take it off and it's actually ready? Well, it, it all depends on the, the, the material you get because some, some of them are tender, so that does take more than um, two to three hours. But when it is tough, you have to really go down deep to get it soft for the customers. Oh, okay. Yes. How hard is it to get pork? Is it a time, is there a time when you just cannot get any pork? Uh, yeah, there's a time when we can't get pork. It's hard to get a time to eat, especially when it comes around the corner. Especially when it, especially when it comes on to the Christmas season. Okay. Yes, pork skills that time. What do you do then? Well, you have to search and go deep, deep into the woods, sometimes far back in like Manchester, the place, you know. And that's where we get pork from. But we have, right now, you have a few liquor farmers coming up. I don't know what's going to happen for this year. Do you worry when there's like a shortage of pork around? Yes, man, we must get worried because um, that's how our liquor bread is. Yeah, 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 that's good. That's, that's where our bread comes from. Well, uh, let me see what you got going on in the, in the panel. Just to take a quick peek. I know it's, it's starting to rain now and everything, but just a quick peek so they can see exactly what's going on. And well, this well. is what we have on top, which I put everything. Wow, that definitely looks good. Yeah. Definitely looks so appetizing. You know, it's starting to rain yeah. a lot. We keep the fire down in the bottom, down here. Okay. This is where the fire keeps to keep it warm. Okay. So we, we take from the bottom, put at the top, and we serve from here. Too. Okay. And I see you got a sauce going on over here. What, yes. what, 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 what's in that sauce? Not to give away a recipe, but just a, uh, tell me a little well, bit about the sauce. All right now, all right now, this is just um, onion and pepper with vinegar. Okay. And the, um, if if we're doing the sauce for people who are traveling, we have to have more things too, like um, pimento seeds, carrot, oh, okay. and so on. You know. Oh, definitely. And that sauce is homemade. Uh, homemade. This is, yes, this is homemade. Okay. I thank you so much for your time, and I really appreciate it. And I hope you continue to be out here many, many more years. Thank you, Dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank it's you, been Robert. a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. GQ TV. GQ TV. GQ TV. Thank you very much. One thing I do know, that jerk is pretty much taking over Jamaica right now. And you've seen it. Let's talk a little bit about jerk. Jerk actually started here in Jamaica, way back, when the, from the Maroons. And the reason why they were smoking the meat, that was their way of 
cooking. They were curing the meat. Cause they, they really didn't have no refrigerators to keep it, to keep the meat in there. So they were curing it with their salt and the pimento spice, using the pimento wood to cook the meat. Now, as time go by, they develop more spices. That's why jerk, when you talk about jerk and the seasoning, that's why there's so many seasoning put together. So, cause over time, they develop more and more spices and they just kept adding it added more more spices to it one thing I do find out about jerk though a lot of people do it many different ways but at the end of the day it's still the same concept season to perfection and put on a grill some people do it in the oven it's not to say that if you put it in the oven it's still not jerk it is jerk but when you talk about an authentic jerk from what I discovered I would say season to perfection and put on a grill are over pimento wood. See, pimento wood, a lot of people use it because it's vital in the, the taste. So definitely, if I was looking for an authentic jerk, it's all about the seasoning and what it is it being cooked on. So definitely season to perfection, whether it's a grill or over pimento wood. That's what it all comes down to. Now you know what a true jerk piece of meat is. Not saying that everybody is doing wrong or doing foolishness, but after all this, found out jerk seasoned to perfection. You could put your own, you could put your own thing on it. Do it your own way. But at the end of the day, it's the same concept. Jerk seasoned to perfection, roast on a grill, grill pan or over pimento wood. I want to thank you all for tuning in to the GQ show and make sure you tune in again next time because like I always say you never know where I'm gonna be what I'm gonna do or who I'm gonna interview so you just gotta keep on watching I want to thank everybody that made the show possible my team it was such a fantastic crew on the island here it took us two days for the shoot we all came together and made it possible just to bring it to you. On behalf of myself and my camera crew, I'm saying peace out from Jamaica. One love, Jamaica. Come on. Buckle up and let's take a ride. Let's go see what life is like. Cause when you're black, you got to pay the price. Living in poor and poverty ain't nice. So when you get an option, just make a choice And when you make a choice, make sure it's right Cause what is life? Life is a reality, me see poor people Living in poverty, lead a 